Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and these next I want to say like five to ten videos They're gonna be the coolest Python tutorials so far because I'm gonna show you guys how to use this awesome Library, it's actually really easy to use but you can do awesome things to images like rotate them stretch them resize them You can actually make some really awesome photo filters like you would in Photoshop or Instagram So I'm gonna be showing you guys all of that. So uh, well, let's go ahead and get started Ugh, got freaking whooping cough already. Actually, winter just started. We just got the first snowfall. And for some reason, whenever the snow starts falling, the inside of my house gets really dry. Like my skin starts drying out. But that's disgusting. So let's get back on track here. Now, obviously, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to edit images, do some cool things with them. So we probably need some images. Now, I already took a couple from my computer. I should show them to you guys. Here's me as a baby. Um, I'm also going to be using this one. This is my old profile picture for Bucky's room. This girl.ping. I just made this in Photoshop real quick. Um, I don't know why I chose this. I thought it was kind of funny. She looks like, I don't even know what she looks like, but I needed something with some colors. And the last photo I'm going to be using is a picture of my sister and I. So, of course, just go ahead and grab any picture or image from your computer and drag it in the same directory as your Python file and you're going to be good but if for some reason you want to use my pictures then I'll post them on the forum but you know you probably uh, don't want to look at me throughout the whole series so again go get any pictures drop them in and you'll be good to go so now that we have some pictures to work with the only other thing that we need to do kind of to prepare is download that library now if you go to file settings of course you can see all of your libraries the package is called pillow so whenever you of course download it click this type in pillow and you'll be good to go so again that's pillow but check this out whenever we actually import the library what we're gonna do is we're gonna type from PIL import the class image alright so we're gonna be using this image class first but wait a minute Bucky you just told me to download the pillow library but right here I'm importing from pill so what the heck is up with that why is it called pill well if this is probably pretty boring but I just want to explain to you guys what's going on so you aren't confused right now we're using Python 3.4 this isn't actually code I'll just uh, type it out real quick so we're using Python 3.4 and the library to edit images is called pillow now in the old version of Python that isn't compatible with what I'm teaching you guys the old version was called pill so what they did for the new version is they pretty much copied it made it compatible with 3.4 and named it pillow so why didn't they just put pillow right there well for all of the pretty much programmers who wanted who are already familiar with the syntax of this library they wanted to uh, you know make it kind of convention familiar for them so that's why they just imported it from pill and you know so I don't know it's a pretty stupid story but um that's why it's called pill instead of pillow to make it uh, kinda compatible and comfortable for all the people who are familiar with using it so cool story bruh I know but uh whatever so now that we got everything taken care of let's go ahead and get started making a basic image so the first thing we need to do is create some kind of object from this image class a pillow object so I'm just gonna name my object IMG it's the most boring thing I possibly could have thunk of is it think thunk think think it of yep that's it think it of alright so in order to create an object image dot open and in this open function what you do is you just type the name of what do I want to use alright so I'll take this image from my computer bucky.jpg and what we're saying is pretty much open this and convert it to a pillow object so now this IMG variable is actually a pillow object so now we can do a bunch of cool things with it before I start showing you guys the really advanced functions of how to manipulate it I'll just show you guys a couple um, boring stuff first but it's actually stuff you're going to be using a lot so the first thing is just to print out some properties of this object or the image so we can print out the image size and the dot symbol and then size property or attribute 
So actually run this right now and you see it returns a tuple of 400 by 400 that of course means this image is 400 by wide by 400 wide by 400 tall and we can also print out something like I don't know what's another thing format is another property and what this does is it says okay so right now we can see that it's a JPEG and later on I'm gonna be showing you guys how to convert for example if you wanted to convert this JPEG to a ping or a GIF I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that as well but right now this is how you print out simple properties of it and one cool thing that I also want to show you guys is this anytime you want to actually display this image then what you can do is you can type the name of the object in show now I want to explain one thing down here you can't display images this is just a console it's pretty much like a fancy command line built just for PyCharm it isn't made to display images itself so whenever you want to display an image on your computer what happens whenever you call this function is it goes to the default program that you whenever you you know you're just um hold on I'm show you guys whenever you're just looking at files like this and you double click whenever you double click an image file however it opens is the default image processing program for your computer now since I have Photoshop installed on my computer whenever I run this the image is gonna open in Photoshop but if you don't have Photoshop then it might just open in Windows Explorer or anything like that but that's what's going on and you also probably notice that whenever this open in Photoshop look at the name in Python it was named Bucky.jpg but in Photoshop it is named temp 5 6 3 bjv bmp and what this is is basically in order to open in Photoshop it needs to open a file so what pillow does whenever you call this show function it pretty much creates um, a temporary image file and it saves it real quick and then it opens it with whatever program that you told it to open so that is the basics and pretty much all the boring stuff of you know the boring history of pillow some boring attributes and you know some boring rules about open how to open it and temporary file names so now that we got all that crap out of the way we can finally begin learning the cool stuff and I'm gonna talk to you guys about that stuff in the next video because I'm pretty hungry and I'm probably gonna go eat like seven hot pockets right now so moving on um, thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next tutorial